Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Doing another memory verse by the pond. <laughs> I know it's a small pond, but the Lord blessed me with a little pond, and I got some fish in there and everything. So, turn to 1 Timothy chapter 2. The memory verse is going to be number five, verse 5, but we're going to start at verse 3. Okay. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of our God, in sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. What's the truth? Verse 5. For there is one capital G God, and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Okay. The memory verse that we always memorize is um, 1 Timothy 2, chapter 2, verse 5, For there is one God, and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. There is one capital G God, the Father, the soul of the Godhead. Okay? And you have to go through the body to get to the soul. You have to go through Jesus Christ. Okay? So it's a great verse for the Godhead, but the main thing that I pointed it out for our... Uh, just short studies for memory verses. It's a great memory verse to hide in your heart, and that is that the man, Christ Jesus, the name is Jesus, okay? It's no other name, okay? There's other names for, for, the, for God. There's other titles for God, but remember the verse that says that he's given a name that is above all names, and that name is Jesus, okay? It's the Lord Jesus Christ, but Jesus is the name, I get a lot of people getting on to me because I just say I'm, I don't say Yeshua, and I'm not I'm not for saying Yeshua. The New Testament was written in Greek, okay? The Old Testament in Hebrew. They're trying to act like the New Testament was written in Hebrew first, and then it got translated to Greek, and then later got translated to English. That's a lie, okay? The New Testament was written in Greek, okay? So the Greek translation for the Hebrew name is how we get the English name or the English, Jesus. But the point I'm making is, is, the more you look into it, Yeshua, I've said this before, Yeshua is just another way of saying God. I'll give you another example. Jehovah. Okay, it's a title for God. It's a name for God. By my name, Jehovah, was I not known. It's a name. But what's the name that's given above all names? It's Jesus Christ. The man, Christ Jesus. Jehovah is another way of saying God. I know it has a meaning, don't get me wrong, and I know uh, when you say Yeshua it's got a meaning, but it's just another title for God, but it's not the name. And today, out there today, big time, especially in a lot of these false religions like Mormons and Jehovah's Witness and, and even Catholicism and everything, they're doing everything they can to get people away from the name Jesus Christ. I mean, Catholicism hates that verse. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. You mean there's no Mary in between? There's no priests in between? Okay, I am not in between. You go to Jesus Christ. Not to me, not through me to get to Jesus Christ. You go through Jesus Christ to get to God the Father. The one God that talks about there. There's one God. It's the Father. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Okay? So this memory verse, when you memor memorize it, brothers and sisters of Christ, and you start to put it in your heart, keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ of the King James Bible, who is come, okay? who is the I Am, the, who is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come, who is Alpha and Omega, Jesus Christ, who is God, fully and completely, because He's the body, God the Father is the soul, and they're together, connected, and they're one. Okay, you look at Jesus Christ, you see the Father. It's that simple. But don't let people get you away from the name Jesus Christ. The moment they can get you away from the name Jesus Christ, they get your eyes off the Jesus Christ of the Bible. Okay? It's just, this is one of those memory verses that I have with my memory verses. I have my salvation package memory verses, which is, is in there. But I put it in with my actual memory verses for the life that I live because I need to keep my eyes on Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ. Not Yeshua, not Jehovah, you know, not all the other titles, Jesus, okay? 
We're looking for that blessed hope. I got some beautiful clouds out here right now. We're looking for that blessed hope. We're looking for Jesus Christ to appear in the sky in the clouds to call us home one day. We're looking for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So remember, for there's one God, one capital G God, the Father, 1 Corinthians 8, 6, and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Why does it say the man? Because Jesus is the body of the Godhead. God, the one true God, capital G God, which is the Father, is the soul. And then the Spirit of God, showing connection to God, the Father, the Spirit of God, is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Stick to Jesus Christ of the Godhead. Stick to Jesus Christ of the King James Bible. Don't let anybody get you to start steering away from that name. That's a name that's given above all names. So this is a great verse to have memorized. I have always have a hard time with addresses. So 1 Timothy 2.5 For there is one God and one mediator between man and God, the man Christ Jesus. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.